Giovanni Minerva, interruttore per favore. It's a, it's a great honor to actually be with Giovanni because not many people in uh, the civil rights movement, the LGBT, LGBT movement, and even the film festival movement have the longevity and the pioneering spirit that Giovanni has in creating the Torino Film Festival, which is world, uh, LGBT festival, which is known worldwide. So, so please let's thank him for the work that he's done. And I think that we'll also find that you have um, some tremendous leaders um, in the room, too many for me to mention, that are part of a newer movement in Italy that I think we'll see two decades from now have moved um, equality in this part of the world forward tremendously, led by Aurelio and Equality Italia, and I think there's a new day dawning on uh, equality in Italy. So. Uh, please let's give uh, Aurelio and his, his organization uh, some applause. Stonewall is so important, um, and obviously it's part of the lineage that my family, um, through the assassination of my uncle, is a part of. So I, I thought I might take an opportunity to put in perspective what I know you will see vividly in the film. Two or three years after Stonewall, my uncle, um, Harvey Milk, decided to run for public office as an openly gay man who was speaking about being gay in every political speech that he made. And at that time in the United States, it was both illegal, criminal to be gay. Uh, it was a criminal act to, for two men or two women to have sex in most states and you were also listed as having a mental illness. Yet he felt it was important that there be a first person, that there be someone who comes first to say, not only are they gay, but that gay is okay, that gay is not a mental illness, it should not be criminal, and that, we, and that he had a vision for another day. And so he knew that first, in civil rights movements, often, don't get to live to see their vision because they often are killed. So Harvey absolutely knew, he didn't know who was going to kill him or when, but with the number of death threats that he got, he knew it would happen. So he gave his life so we, his nephew and all of us, can be authentic and live free. Some people say, where did he get his courage? And his courage came from people like you'll see from Stonewall who often were the drag queens and the most flamboyant of our community who stood up and who still stand up today. He got his courage from, from, from the people that you're going to see in the film, um, but we owe it to all of those people who've come before us to live authentically, to know that who we are and who we authentically are is a gift to the world so please enjoy the film. I know you don't want to hear me talk, you want to hear the film. Um, please enjoy the film and, and realize that our history is important. And any people, any minority group or any disenfranchised people must tell their history because otherwise we can go back and we must keep moving forward. So I'm honored to be here with you tonight and thank you.